Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Hey, reminder, on uh, Saturday, I will be out uh, from 11 to 1 at the 40th anniversary party of Ocean Spray Hot Tubs and Saunas, Candy. Oh, will you be sitting in a hot tub? Yeah, maybe. You never know. We that would see. be really entertaining. And tomorrow we're going to have Joe, the main man, the guy who's uh, had this business for 40 years. We are going to have him uh, on with us tomorrow. Oh, so. and speaking of the hot tubs, mm. you haven't spoken about yours in quite a while. Have yeah. you been in it? Uh, yes, we. Uh, we it, it's great. We keep it running 365, 24-7, uh, and it, it's in great condition, and we use it. Now, I will say uh, we use it a lot more from September, mid-September to early June, okay? Got um, it. J- July and August, occasionally, you know, the summer when it's 100 degrees out, it's, yeah. I, 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 you know, not necessarily where I want to be, right? But I will tell you that uh, Dana gets in there many times during the summer at um, after hours when the sun goes down, Candy. Mm, nice. So, yeah, so, uh, but we use, I mean, I'll tell you what, the fall and the winter in that thing. Yeah, oh, that's man. That's very nice, yeah. And it's, I noticed when you were sending me videos of your in-laws' house, they have one, too. They did. They were inspired by us. They yes, got they one. Yes, they were. They did get one. By the way, more on my in-laws in just a second there. Oh, uh, they're going to be part of our National Days today, Candy. What? Yeah, let, well, let's go through a couple other things first. I was reading this story about a woman on TikTok says that her DoorDash delivery driver showed up uh, with her taco order, and not only was the seal of the bag broken, but it was missing a Dorito Loco Taco, and she noticed, she took a video or picture or something, and she noticed orange dust on the fingers of the delivery woman, Candy. That is foul and disgusting. So and she, I'm not ever getting a delivery again because <laughs> she, of this story. She posted it. DoorDash reimbursed her for the missing taco, and they're investigating the driver. Oh, big doings. Yes. I wonder how long you go to jail for stealing a, a taco. <laughs> I don't think there's jail involved. Mm, mm. Um, and I love this one. The entire staff of a Burger King in Lincoln, Nebraska, quit the other day. I love. I saw the. I saw the sign. It's fantastic. The general manager was upset about the way they were treated. There was no air conditioning. There was no this, no that. No, it was just not good. So the general manager quit, and then all the other workers were like, "Well, if our manager's quitting, we're quitting too. We're out." So they put up on the marquee. They wrote, "We all quit. Sorry for the inconvenience." <laughs> so funny. That is so funny. That and is really so no air conditioning. Trying to kill them. That that's uh, it, not only bad. It sounds illegal. Honestly, yeah. I mean that's dangerous. Yeah. The way we've been uh, heating up this summer. All right, let's get to these national days. Um, I did promise you, uh, my in-laws would be involved. It is na- National Delaware Day, Candy. Hey, we're loving us some Delaware. I'm we, telling you, we they've love... inspired me very much. Go look at Delaware. Love Delaware. And I always like to tell people when we talk about it, they are, because if you don't, we knew nothing about Delaware. Me, me and Dana knew nothing about Delaware. It's a very tiny state. It's We get from uh, one end to the other in an hour and a half. Yeah, Just no, it's tiny. Drive right through. Uh, but they live near some of the great beaches this country has to offer, Candy. It's Unbelievable. Amazing. How did they know? How were they so smart? One of their friends from Long Island introduced them ah, to the area. Now I see. Well, this is how the story goes. One of their friends introduced them to the area. They bought, you know, my in-laws bought land, built the house, ended up in Delaware before their friends even ended up in Delaware. Wow. And well, then, your father-in-law's very talented. Yeah, well, he didn't build the house. Oh. He uh, oversaw the company that built the house, yes. it's really nice. But, yes. Whatever little touches he added are fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. Now, he's been building other things for other people there, as I've mentioned, but, uh, you know, he's taken on some odd jobs. But what's interesting now is the friends that introduced them to Delaware now have moved in to their house about a block and a half away. That's exciting. I yeah. love that. So they are both uh, both down there. Did you know the first bathing beauty contest was on Rehoboth Beach in 1880, kid? I had no idea. No idea. Yes. Uh, it was judged by uh, Thomas Edison. He was one of the judges. Stop making yes. this up. 
Yes. Uh, and Delaware is the first state. You do know it's the first state, right? No. Yes, first state. Didn't know it. First state in the uh, the country. Yes, yes. When we uh, declared our independence. Yes, it's uh, true. Candy, other national days, National Beans and Franks Day today. That's always good. Yeah. Not fan of the beans with the Franks. I, I haven't had it in a long, long, long time. I do like sauerkraut with my I Franks. Me too. Me too. It is Cow Appreciation Day today, Candy. Well, moo to the cows. I'll tell you, I appreciate cows. I appreciate the porterhouse part of the cow. Yes. I appreciate the rib part they of the cow. They give us a lot of things, yes. including milk. And it's National French Fry Day today, Candy. Well, that's nice. You know what the big thing is that I'm seeing now that we're back out and about? What? Truffle fries. Ooh, very nice. With a little bit of truffle oil. Why not? That seems to be the trend this summer. I feel like I've had truffle uh, tater tots. Oh, really? I feel like I have in the past, yeah, with truffle hmm. oil. Hmm. I feel I feel like I uh, have... Never heard of that. Now, I partake in French fries for sure, but I'm not like someone who seeks out French fries. No, me either. I will just have them if they come with the meal, and I will never finish the plate of French never. fries. Sometimes we'll bring them home, heat them in the oven the next day, and they're even better. And I have to dip. I usually, uh, I like to get some blue cheese. Uh, or... Brian thinks that uh, McDonald's have the best French fries. I don't necessarily agree with that. Oh, Brian. Brian. Yes, thing. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what? If they come out hot with the right amount of salt, fine. If they've been sitting around and they get to you cold, yeah, not oh, so cold. much. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Candy, a couple of nice uh, stories to end your day. Um, you're going to you're gonna love this. A great gift idea. There's a video on Instagram of a woman unwrapping a baking dish, and she immediately cries. Why? Because at the bottom of this gift, in writing at the bottom of the dish, is her great-grandmother's carrot cake recipe in the great-grandmother's handwriting. Oh, wow. They took the paper recipe, and they somehow got it, like, into the dish. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. And it's written at the bottom of the dish. Isn't that a that nice gift? That is a really priceless gift. I love that. Yes. And That's what I should have got you for your wedding. That would have been wonderful, yes. A 29-year-old from Georgia, Eric Juarez, graduated Harvard, got his doctorate, honored his immigrant parents by posing for photos in the fields where they picked tomatoes to help pay his tuition, Candy. That's also beautiful. I could shed a tear. That's really something. And a cop in Georgia lost his wedding ring swimming at a park in Florida. A 10-year-old girl... Later on, f spotted it, found it. The mother posted it to Facebook. Another cop saw it, and the cop got his ring back, Candy. Wow, it takes a village. And the police department gave the 10-year-old girl an award for honesty. Love that. See, lessons to be learned here. That's right. Yes, always teaching you something. You think we're just fooling around here in the morning. No, but no, no. Always teaching you something. Yes, always. Candy, try not to go outside today. Humid today. <laughs> uh, don't don't hurt yourself. Don't well, hurt. You know, Brian made a very nice dinner last night. He said, well, how about tomorrow? You know, you make me something. So I think I'll do my meatballs today. I have Ooh. to go to the store. Yeah. Very nice. Enjoy. I mean, they're not Dana meatballs, but they're still very good. No, they'll never be Dana meatballs. All right, let's not have that debate. All right, fine. But enjoy. Have a uh, great day. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.